Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Mr. Rio's fourth grade class. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting fractions, all right? So adding and subtracting fractions is pretty simple, but I'm going to show you uh, kind of like using a model, and then I'm just going to show you using the numbers, all right, or the fractions. So here we go. So for example, let's say we have, we went to the store and bought two pizzas, all right? You know, and so let's say you ate one-fourth of this pizza, and let's say this is cheese and this is pepperoni, and your sister ate, or brother, ate two-fourths of that pizza. Now, when we add a fraction, or we, we add fractions, we, we have to take into consideration the pieces that the, uh, the, uh, the whole got cut into. So they all got cut in fours, right? Now, the denominator is going to tell you they got cut in fours. And then we add the pieces that you ate. So for example, you ate one-fourth plus two-fourths equals three-fourths. So this tells you the pieces that you guys ate and the, the pieces that each hole was cut into, fourths, all right? So pretty much what happens is that your denominator tells you the number of pieces the hole got cut into. And then you add, okay? Same thing with subtraction, all right? So <clears throat> you have three holes, uh, three-fourths of a hole, and you want to see... You want to take away one fourth. So that means you're going to take one fourth out of those three. So that means you're going to be left with two fourths. Okay? Now, remember, when the denominators are the same, all you do is keep the denominator the same. And you just work on the numerator. So here's another example using numbers. So let's say I have three eights plus two eights okay so let's picture this this hole got cut into eights you use three this hole got cut into eights you use two now you put them all together how much do you have five eights remember the denominator will always stay the same okay this always stays the same, especially if the denominators are the same, you don't do nothing with them. You just work the numerator. And that's it. So, same with subtraction. Let's say you have six ninths, and then you're going to do three ninths, okay? But see, always pay attention to the denominator. So, the denominators are the same, so you don't do anything with them. So, they stay the same. And the numerators, there's a 6 minus a 3. So all you do is 6 minus 3 is 3. So that is your fraction. So adding and subtracting fractions is very simple. Just don't, if the denominators are the same, don't worry about anything. Just work the numerators. And that will help you, all right? You can also picture it this way, okay, using a model. But sometimes it's going to get difficult to really break a hole into ninths, you know. So that's why it's always good to know the algorithm. Algorithm, All right. So I hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me uh, with any questions. And I hope that this helps you. All right. See you for the next video and uh, see you then.